All right. What's up, YouTube? Listen, I'm just uh, a little winded because I'm doing my quarantine push-up workout. Okay. So I uh, talked about, you know, positive things to do during stressful situations like coronavirus, uh, global pandemics, things like that. <clears throat> um, some of you guys already know, I'll pass it along again. I served 21 years in the Marine Corps um, as a staff sergeant. As, well, that was my last rank as staff sergeant. There's my uh, EGA, Eagle Globe and Anchor. And so this push-up routine that I'm on comes largely from that. But also it comes from the kinesiology studies that I've taken on myself. Let me turn this off. Let's make it to the thing. The kinesiology studies that I've taken in college. Now, I've taken body conditioning one, body conditioning two, strength and conditioning, uh, strength and fitness, cardio fitness. I've taken uh, just a, a variety of kinesiology related courses, including anatomy <clears throat> and biology. All those things uh, were instrumental in helping me to understand the, mus the muscular body the skeletal system, the anatomy of a human being, uh, what works, what doesn't work, what works for me, what doesn't work for me, things like that for being fit, losing weight, or gaining muscle. For me, it's usually about trying to get stronger. One of my goals is I have a strength goal that I always try to hit. Uh, during my college course at LA Trade Tech, uh, on my second iteration of the body conditioning class, which was the advanced course, um, I told the instructor, because he gave us goals, he said, you guys, well, you have to make your own goal, but he said, you have to structure yourself a goal while you're in this course, and um, you have 14 or 16 weeks, however long the semester is, to hit that goal. <clears throat> my goal was to bench press 300 pounds. I had never done that in my life. Uh, at the time I was doing that, I was 46 years old or something like that. Uh, this was years ago. So when I first started, I think I was able to bench, you know, max. Uh, one time is your max. Uh, I think it was like 260. I was able to get 260 pounds or 255 one time. So the goal was to get to anything 300 or above, which I had never done before in my life. <clears throat> so I was like, okay, I got to work towards that. So what did I do? The class was only two days a week. So we were only able to train for 90 minutes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The class met Tuesdays and Thursdays in the morning. Uh, we started at 9.30 in the morning or something around there. And it was an hour and a half. Um, and it was, it was go, go, go the whole hour and a half. It was no lag time. Um, we were on, a, we were on a, 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 like a program that he had already set us up for in the first day. He showed, showed us how to do all the equipment, how to use all the equipment, and how to set up a program. And he was there available in case we needed uh, assistance or questions, but he wanted us to do the work. So you have your paper and you go through your routine and he'll help you structure it to hit your goal. Some people had a goal of losing weight. Some people in the class were, were struggling with uh, diabetes, so they wanted to get healthier. There's a lot of people, all levels, uh, the beginner, intermediate, and advanced, in, in advanced in that course. So uh, for me, I, I was taking on the advanced courses uh, so I was like, Hey, I have a strength goal. He's like, okay, let's see if we can structure your workouts for that. He goes, I can't tell you what to eat. That's on you. He goes, but you should know that it should be a high protein based diet. A lot of drink, a lot of water, get a lot of rest. So he's like, before you come to this class, which I think it started at nine 30, he's like, you know, when you get up in the morning, have something to eat because you're going to be training. So he goes, I can't tell you how much to eat or what to eat, but he's like, have something to eat. He goes, you start off your day with a banana, an apple, something like that. That's a good something in your stomach. And then, or even a little thing of oatmeal or something, but a couple of hard boiled eggs, that's protein, something, but it gets you a foundation that of energy that you can burn while you're in that 90 minute course. So what I did was I did the weight training. I did a circuit course. I would do um, a 15 or 20 minute warm up on the treadmill and I would try to run as fast as I could, uh, get my heart rate up 
for about 15 minutes. It was roughly 15 minutes. Sometimes I use the bike, but mostly use the treadmill. And I get a really good sweat. Now my heart rate's up. I'm sweating. And then I go and I would do uh, like Tuesday. It was Tuesday and Thursday. So Tuesday would be like my bench press day. Uh, presses, shoulder presses, dumbbell flies, dumbbell presses, bench presses, decline presses, dips, push-ups, um, anything pushing. Then on uh, Thursday, I would do pulling, pull-ups, curls. Uh, I did my legs, and I would do uh, like upright rows and things like that, <clears throat> cable crossovers or something else, but a lot of arm work uh, or, and some other kind of shoulder exercises too, but, but not my pressing. So, and I, it, like I said, it was only two days a week. So on those other days when I wasn't in the class, I would go to a local park where they had those workout stations, pull-up bars, dip bars, um, they had the ring, stuff like that. And believe it or not, those things will help you get stronger. So I would go to that on two days a week. I'd be at the park for about 90 minutes. I'd bring my dog and he'd be there with me and I would do dips, pull-ups, and push-ups. And uh, what else would I do? Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I'd run laps around the track, uh, try to sprint one and then walk one, sprint one, walk one. And I think a mile was like eight laps. So I would do usually around 16 laps, sprint, walk, sprint, walk, 16 laps. That's my cardio. Got my, my uh, heart rate up, got the blood flowing. That was really important. Uh, and man, I'll tell you something from that course, I hit, not only did I hit my goal, I exceeded it because on the day, the last week of school on the testing day, when we all went to do our, our final exam, I think I did, I broke the record for, you had 60 seconds. How many push-ups can you do in 60 seconds, right? <clears throat> that was the day before our last day, which would be been Tuesday. And then Thursday is your last day and you, you take the final exam, which is a written exam, talking about all the principles of kinesiology, strength training, uh, body conditioning, um, the factors uh, of the human body, uh, all these different things that we learned. Um, and so we took a written exam. That was really good. It was very comprehensive. It was 100 questions. And I got an A. So the... The, the Tuesday, we did the push-up contest. We all had to do that. And there was another, con we did the treadmill contest, push-up contest. And I forgot what else. There's three things where you basically get on the treadmill or you could do the bike, depending on your physicality or your, if you had a disability or something. And you, you flat out run for, I believe it was 12 minutes. Yeah, I think it was 12 minutes nonstop. And then he factors in the distance and the, and the speed, all these different things, and how many how many times you stopped or whatever, and 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 it was it was really cool. We did that, and then the push ups you have sixty seconds. Girls and guys both. Girls could do them on their knees. That was fine, um, and I opted to do regular guy push ups, and I did. I broke the record. It was like in sixty seconds. I ended up getting like. I can't recall exactly, but it was close to 80 push-ups. So I was doing, so I started off really fast, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, I was just banging them out. And then you slow down, you know, he's counting down 30 seconds. You take a break. You can, you can take a break in the up position. Okay. Not down, but up. And then you, you keep going. So I set the school record. I don't know if it still holds, but I think it was like 77 uh, push-ups in a minute. So that was cool. I was very proud of that. As a 46-year-old guy, that was pretty cool. I'm not saying I'm like the world's best athlete, but for a 46-year-old, old jarhead out doing all those young guys in the class, there was like 25 of us in that class, maybe 20, 25. Um, I did them all. I was the oldest guy in that class, I believe. Maybe there was one guy around my age, but I, I think I was the oldest guy, other than the instructor who was in his 50s, and he was built like a V buff, former Dallas Cowboy, Mr. B. Word up. What's up, Mr. Buddinger? I hope you're watching this. I learned a lot from your class. Uh, so that was back in 2013, uh, matter of fact. So anyways, and shout out to all the kinesiology students from LA Trade Tech, then and now. You know who you are, my classmates. Um, so that was a good time. So anyways, I just got finished right now doing my quarantine push-up workout.
So what I did was, I'm still in the middle of it. I'm just taking a break to film this video to kind of motivate you guys to, to stay motivated and to get motivated if you're not motivated. Uh, I am 52. In May, I'll be 53, which is next month. May 11th is my birthday. I was born 1967, May 11th. Like I said, I did 21 years in the Marines. And so my goal today is to do 500, 500 push-ups. So far, I've done close to 300. So I'm not going to bore you with you know, videotaping me doing push-ups, but I do have a video uploaded of me doing push-ups. So you can see my form. You can see how I do my push-ups, how I breathe. Um, I tend to vary up the grips. Sometimes I do them with my fist. Uh, like to strengthen my wrist and uh, you know sometimes I, I go closer together and sometimes I go farther apart and sometimes I go higher like that and then I'm going to show you guys some other techniques uh, not that I'm just going to sit there and do push-ups and push-ups but show you the actual techniques of the form that will help you to develop your pecs your shoulders and your triceps okay um, because if you just do one side, one kind of push-up, you're only going to develop one area of your chest, and it's only going to look, that area is only going to have the effect. You want to really maximize your triceps, this part of your upper part of your shoulder, which also gets engaged right here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, because you're going to be able to hit the top part of your chest, your pectorals, the center part, and the lower part, if you do push-ups different ways. Um, one way I can really quickly show you, if you guys can see this is let me see if I can adjust this okay so imagine you're on your put in your push-up position okay now when you go all the way down you want to if you're high up like this look what look at my look at that right there you're engaging all of that as well as this and you're engaging the top part of your pet so when you go down and you come back up you keep in the strict form, okay, you're you're gonna work the top part of your chest as well as engaging this chunk of your deltoids because your deltoids has three heads. So you're engaging this front head right here. Okay. And I'm not gonna bore you with a bunch of anatomical terms, but your triceps right here also have you know you got the horseshoe, so you have different heads as well. And like I said, you have your, your three heads of your shoulder. Now to hit the back, you're not going to do push-ups. You're going to do some other exercises. We'll talk about that another time. But since I don't have access to weights, I'm, I'm at home. Some of you guys are stuck at home. You don't have access to weights. You could just do push-ups. You could do burpees. You could do jumping jacks. You can do sit-ups. You could do uh, sissy squats. Um, you could practice your kicks if you're into martial arts. That will engage your the lower part of your core. Okay. And you want to really get your hips involved. People talk about the core a lot. If you get your, your hips involved in, in your workouts, you're going to really benefit. So uh, ultimately, like I said, I have strength goals. One of my strength goals is to do a 1,000 push-ups in a day, which I've never done. So right now I'm up to about 500. So today's goal is to hit 500 push-ups. I haven't got it yet. I'm around 280 right now. I'm um, just taking that break and just covering some, some basic fundamentals. It's good to be goal oriented, so I, I highly suggest you set goals daily, um, not just for push-ups and fitness, but um, one goal is just to wake up every morning. That's a good goal. Wake up the next morning, morning and smile and be grateful that you're alive. Uh, be grateful for another day, another opportunity. Uh, tell somebody you love them, hug them. Um, if you're still at work, good for you. You're making money. A lot of us are stuck at home. Uh, I'm in machine machinist trade school. But we're doing it online on Zoom, so we're still able to resume the course, the course, and we graduate May 15th. So it's been a eight or nine month journey for that college. It's a private college to become a, a machinist, and it's a great trade. Typically, it's always hiring, but with this COVID-19, who knows? Either way, I just wanted to show you that, um, uh, motivate you, and if you're not motivated, hopefully you are now to do something at home positive for your fitness. Drink a lot of water. If you have lemons, cut the lemons, put the lemons in the water, drink the water. I say do that every day. Um, 
it creates an alkaline like uh, system in your body which you want to, you want to be in an alkaline not in an acidic state but an alkaline state so with that being said um, as I continue with these progresses I'll, I'll, I'll uh, post videos as, as we go through our our global pandemic I'm in Whittier right now it's raining it's been raining for the past three days today is Wednesday uh, April what is it the 9th now uh, yeah I think it's the 9th <clears throat> so uh, hang in there everybody I have a, a good friend from high school that uh, has contracted COVID-19 uh, so I don't want to say his name because that's a, his privacy but he's a good friend I've known him since 19 since we went to junior high school together we're in uh, California Cadet Corps and then Fairfax ROTC that's about as far as I can go is tell you that we all went to school together and what school other than that it's his personal private business but he knows that uh we got prayers going up for him so hang in there bro you know who you are and i know you're going to pull through this um you know i have my political opinions as to what's going on i won't bore you with that because everybody's got an opinion main thing is keep a positive attitude take care of each other take care of yourself um i hope you're if you're a person of faith pray read your bible um and I'm not here to tell you what to do. What I'm here to do is just tell you what I'm doing and hopefully uh, spread some joy, some love, and some encouragement to everybody out there in YouTube world, in the United States of America, and globally to keep the faith, stay positive, take care of yourself, and take care of others. After you take care of yourself, you're strengthened to go take care of others. So stay fit. And if you're not fit, good opportunity to get fit if you're on a quarantine like me. I'm not going to let this stop me. So this is what I'm working with right now. Of course, I'm going to tuck it in a little bit, but I'm 52. I don't know what you guys think about that, but I'm pleased with the fact that I'm doing my best. I'm not a professional athlete by any means, but I feel like I'm doing as best as I can for a 52-year-old man who's about to turn 53 next month. So... If age is a thing in your head, get it out of your head. Don't let age be a hindrance on getting fit. All right, so get healthy. If you're already healthy, stay healthy. If you know somebody needs to be healthy, get after getting them healthy. Staff Sergeant Calhoun from Whittier, out.